So I should be reverse Jinna. Let's do that. So if I'm pointing, pointing there, I'm looking there. Yeah, makes more sense. My bad. All right. Um, see what we got here let's just pull up a comparison to make sure it is good so nothing really that good here Being very close to the secret Uther Tiberius, he wanted to create the most powerful psychic Null or Black Soul who ever existed and succeeded, but the power of this creature made him recoil in horror. He decided to lock the Elf of Pharaoh away in the Vestige Station Chamber. I must enter her prison and solve this mystery. Let's do it. Together again, at last. Are you ready? The secret of the Mater is within arm's reach. Just imagine the possibilities if the Alpha Pariah is still there, in stasis. Now you are talking, like the Inquisitor I used to know. Let's go uh. to the stasis chamber. Ready to fight! I see you found reinforcements against the word bearers. These men are the members of my expedition. I thought they were killed. I was wrong, unfortunately. For the Emperor!
Jeez, these guys are tough, man. <laughs> what do you think about this alpha pariah? What could it be? Uther Tiberius wanted to create an army of former demon hosts, resistant to the powers of the war. At some point, he must have realized that it was not working. Or he realized that an army needs a commander. I don't know if the alpha pariah was someone he found during his journey, or if he obtained her through some dark means. But eventually, he had her in his grasp. And now his legacy will be ours. Yeah. Behold the words of the prophecy! In the darkest reaches of the void, on the cursed monastery hidden among the living storms, there is the anathema that shall be destroyed. I will make the revelation come true. Not while I breathe, creature. Oh, Death to the servants of the corpse emperor. Oh, boy. Now you will never find the truth, Inquisitor. Why are you guys coming after me like this? What did I ever do to you guys? Alright, alright, I'll look.
they got this guy. Oh, jeez. That is one. Alright. Open the gate. Wait, I see human remains. One of Uther's acolytes by the looks of it. Let's take a look. All right, unknown, call to arms. Two code green trusted, all right, decryption message. Brother and sisters from the inner circle. Time has come to accept that vile treachery and the woeful uprising brought our glorious cause to an abrupt end. The rod had set in a long time ago, but we are blind to see it. And now we are paying dearly for our hubris. We have been struck down by the small-minded fools who still refuse to understand that if we want to save the Imperium from the engulfing darkness, we should abandon the trodden pathways. This is what our oops, visionary leader, Uther Tiberius, taught us, and now he is lying, gravely wounded, struck down by his former acolytes, all cowards and hypocrites. We he must leave the matrior, the sacrifice this sorry. He must leave the matrior, the sac sacred fortress and monastery he had built, the inner sir. Cerse decided to entrust a group of volunteers with the task of taking Uther Tiberius to a place where we can build another safe haven, at least until he fully recuperates from his grievous injuries. Our loyal friend, Captain Gregor Von Winter, abandoned his post on the bridge of the Matrior, and he will take us to safety with one of his ships. Brothers and sisters, fight for the Matrior. Fight until your last drop of blood. Protect the Matrior until we return, because we will return triumphantly. The Emperor protects. Anything useful? That is an understatement. Now we know that Uther Tiberius was gravely wounded during the rebellion in the monastery. 
His trusted men decided to take him off the Martyr, with a certain Captain Van Winter at the helm of the rescue ship. He had secured the secret weapon before he fell, though. All right. By the Emperor, what is this? Remarkable. It looks like a barrier of pure psychic energy. A tapestry of madness made substance. Uh -oh. Another example of Uther's arcane designs, I suppose. Are you ready to enter? I have died for the secret once. I must be the one who walks through that barrier. Oh. Shit. Shit. What the hell is that? Oh, God. By the grace of Emperor, I cannot enter. Did you see anything? She is there. The Alpha Pariah is inside. So close, and yet unreachable. There must be a way. No, you were right. This barrier was designed by Uther himself, and he made sure that nobody can enter without his authorization. The barrier can only be disabled with his inquisitorial rosette. But a rosette is the personal symbol of our authority. Each rosette is unique, and Uther has been dead for centuries. It is impossible. You are telling me that it was all in vain? We have failed. No. Uther Tiberius was taken from the Martyr to an unknown destination, and I will find where that place is. I am an Inquisitor. Obsessed. Nothing can remain hidden from me. I will uncover that rosette, even if I have to burn down the whole sector. Oh man, she has succumbed to the... the corruption! Alright, here we go. So... I found this stasis chamber where Uther Tempest locked away Alpha Pariah for her own protection. The chamber is locked down by a bear of pure psychic energy, tapestry of madness. I mean, like, that was pretty easy to understand. Um... What is our next step? We are treading on dangerous ground. Uther Tiberius was so obsessed with fighting the powers of chaos that he ventured too far. Even his most trusted followers turned against him when they realized what he was planning to do. Who cares about ignorant fools? Oh you must surely be aware of what the Alpha Pariah could become. Uther Tiberius wanted to destroy the gods of chaos so desperately that he decided to create a god of his own. Oh. Yes, I understand. And this is why we must continue his work. For the Emperor. Uh. <laughs> Morality choice. You are right. We must use your powers to fight the tides of chaos to defeat the Empire and justify its means. The existence of borders are here. The doctrines must be upheld at all costs. Ah! I mean, this one's probably gonna be more fun, right? All right, yeah. Let's you do that. are right. We must use her powers to fight the tides of chaos. The fate of Imperium justifies the means. You are a dedicated warrior to the cause, and I salute you. I'm also risking excommunication and death, but first, I have to find the Rosette. And I need your help to secure this chamber while I'm gone. I will remain on the Martyr to protect Uther's secret with my life. But are you aware of the potential consequences? Alright, no! Alright, there we go. Clusterheim. Clusterheim, I've compelled to decide the fate of Clusterheim. He wanted to free the Alpha Pharah and make the version of this true. I must agree with him with the remarkable being at our disposal. We could turn back the tides of chaos starting to engulf the Imperium. I must accept the fate of the Imperium just by the means. Yeah!
All right. Close drum. All right. All right, while I was trying to find Lord Inquisitor Clusterham on the Matrix, I've also managed to expose the Star Seeker, which turned out to be shocking revelation to me a long time ago. I used to be Clusterham's mentor, a highly ranked Inquisitor in pursuit of the research of Ruther Tiberius. In order to protect what I've uncovered previously, I entrusted Clusterham with the task of finding the Matrix and underwent a mind wipe operation to destroy all evidence of my work. And the path has led me back to Matrix, we found it side by side again with the search of that, but eventually I was forced to make a decision about Clusterham's fate. Okay, uh, okay. Um, Uther Tiberius was obsessed with the idea of fighting this power of chaos and his methods would uh, would have made even the most radical of Inquisitors turn away in horror. He spent decades torturing hundreds of floating fortress monastery. Wait, torturing hundreds in his fortress floating monastery, all, create, all to create an army of ex-demon hosts resistant to the powers of the warp. He wanted to send a crusade into the warp for the Imperium. However, he must have realized at some point that the army needed something extra, a leader or a champion. This is how he abandoned his project and turned to the Alpha Pharah. I don't know if the Alpha Fire, I don't know how to say that word, was somebody who found uh, he found during his pilgrimage or created by accident during his research or he obtained through other darker methods. But eventually he let her he had her in his grasp and untouchable with the power to destroy demons instead of banishing them. But when his own followers realized what he had done by the turn against him, Uther Tiberius wanted to destroy them. All right, cool. Oh man, yet another one. All right. Uh, Uther Tiberius was a visionary, a scholar, and extremely radical inquisitor who carried out extremely troubling experience to fight the corruption of chaos in the times during the, the age of apostasy. According to the clues I found after decades of questionable research, that he eventually went too far and researched the point where even his most loyal followers turned against him and a rebellion broke out. On the matrix, battles between loyalists and dissenters led to the destruction of the ship, and other Tiberius was gravely wounded. The last members of his inner circle took away him away on the ship, piloted by the captain of the matrix, Gre Gregor von Winter. All right, now I'm gonna also let you guys know um, if you guys are curious what's gonna what would happen in this game uh, play if you take the uh, if you reject the Alpha um, Fira, whatever. Um, Stay tuned, because I'll be playing that in the Prophecy. Alright, so... Wow. 43, yeah, this, this, uh... This one's not that... Wait, wait. I'm gonna just go with that, just because it's that much better. It's above 10 in quality, I should choose it. Okay, wait a second, let me uh... You want me to believe that you didn't know that the founder of your rogue trader house was the captain of the Martyr centuries ago? I swear by the light of the God Emperor Inquisitor that I am just as shocked by this revelation as you are. I need a better explanation, Captain. Inquisitor, our house has followed strict traditions for long centuries. One of those traditions concerns our sacred history. Our ancestral secrets were kept in a treasured logbook only accessible by the Van Winter sitting on the throne of the house. And who would that be? Nobody. Almost my entire clan has been purged on account of their heretical acts. Uh... I was found worthy of redemption, and I'm assisting the work of the Inquisition as a simple captain. Oh, she's damned now. She's Do damned you think your sure. book could help me? Yes. It has been in our possession since Gregor Van Winter, the man whose trail you seek, received the warrant of trade. It must contain all his accounts, too. What happened to that logbook? 
It was hidden on our flagship, the Astute Cavalier, but it disappeared when my father was executed. The logbook must still be in the hold, in a secret compartment. Yeah. So, For I only have to find me. a fugitive ship in the sector. Sounds easy. My family had a hideout in this subsector on a void station. Those who survived the purge probably ended up there. And strangely, it didn't occur to you to share this information with the Inquisition. No, don't answer that. Take me to the void station. Dang. Alright, so I was just gonna say that that for some reason reminded me of, uh... Um, Mass Effect. I don't know why. Alright, we're gonna, uh, salvage that. We're gonna hold it. Got it. What the heck are these things, though? Um, consumable add additional allowed death for next mission. Huh. How does that work? Do I like use it? So, all right, let's back out. Nope, not that way. All right, so we're leaving the major there, and hopefully it doesn't disappear on us. Um, it looks like we got something over here on the Arctic Priest. But first, system info. Let's check this out. Um, we're really close to getting influence, so that's good. A recently reclaimed system which has been cut off from appear from long centuries by a particularly vicious warp surge that even manifested into real space. This uh, this system is one of unfortunate regions where prolonged isolation from the Imperium led to the slow decay of civilization. The centuries saw the remains of the population slide into depravity and heresy. Alright. Verdian Arcotech Base. This void station is a relic of lost knowledge from the Dark Age of Technology with heretical science flourished openly. It was discovered by the exploration explorer, explorator fleet of the Adaptics Mechanicus it is only opened in the Bureau of Citizens after centuries of research and purification. Some mysterious levels still fall under the jurisdiction of Adaptus Mechanicus. So we're gonna zoom in over there. Ha <laughs> That does look awesome. Um, I'm gonna go with this one. Chapter of the Alpha Ferra is protected by an impenetrable force field, and only Uther's Inquisitorial Zet can open the. Yeah. However, greatly wounded, and this is where he is. Alright, so I'm going to take a break really fast. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Stay tuned. Should be tomorrow, right?